My name is Alexandra Thompson. I'm a horticulturist in the interior section with Smithsonian Gardens. I'm Shannon Hill, and I'm a horticulturist at Smithsonian Gardens Greenhouses. Biomes Life in the Balance is an exhibit that explores five different biomes found in North America. We look at aquatic, desert, tundra, grassland, and rainforest. Each vignette explores the different characteristics that make that biome unique, including a map of where they're located, and then it looks at the interconnectedness between plants and animals in those biomes. The exhibit also features a Smithsonian scientist that works in each of the biomes and the research that they're working on, and we wanted to do a cross-collaboration because that's big with the Smithsonian. A biome is a large region that has plants and animals and non-living things interacting with each other within that environment. There were quite a lot of challenges with this exhibit just because of the space. We're working underground. It's actually under the Haupt Garden. And then keeping the plants alive in an indoor environment where there's not a lot of light. When we put the plants on display, they don't stay very long. We're constantly having to change those plants out, bring them back to the greenhouse where they can get a little rest and relaxation and they'll return to the exhibit once they're looking better. The plants that we decided to use in the exhibit, we thought, felt it was really important to use native plants to each of the biomes. We had to do a lot of research and track down um, growers that grow the plants native to each of these biomes and these areas. Aquatic was another issue. We couldn't put an aquatic biome on display, so we had to use artificial grasses for that. A big challenge with creating this exhibit was making a professional looking exhibit that also fit within a very limited budget. And to create the animals, we included Smithsonian exhibits, which was a really exciting partnership to be able to work with them. They were really great at working with us and trying to get a nice, what we wanted, but also fit their budget and their time schedule. When I was thinking about ideas, I wanted to think about the target audience, and the Ripley Center has lots of children's school groups for the Discovery Theater and different camps down here, so I wanted to focus my main audience on elementary school students. There was a budding botanist camp that we were able to participate with and give them a tour, and it was really exciting to see the questions that they asked, the information that we gave was appropriate for that target audience. One day I was down here watering and there was a mom with her son just walking down the hall and all of a sudden her son goes, mommy, mommy, you gotta stop, look at this. And so she stopped and, and went over and he's pointing to the different animal cutouts and to the sign. And next thing I know, they're stopping and they're looking at each of the different vignettes. And that was just really cool to see that it, it caught the kid's eye, which is what we were going for. And then the mom took the time to stop and look with him. And so that, that was really special. I'm a behind the scenes worker, so I don't get much opportunity to get out and work with the public. So this is an, a chance for me to work on creating a message of protecting the environment, of protecting our habitats that I can share with the public and it possibly create some interest for young budding scientists and, and botanists and environmentalists in the future. The Biomes exhibit directly relates to the theme of habitat. Protecting habitats protects life because you get to see the interconnected relationships between the plants and the animals within the habitats and um, how fragile that those relationships truly are. I have a background in environmental science and policy, so I'm pretty familiar with these topics and the topic of biomes, but it made me realize that there's just always so much to learn and it made me think about the animal-plant interactions in a whole new way. It definitely gets you to think about the interconnectedness and the fragility of the habitats and how you need to try to work on saving them. You know, something as small as a snail you know, you think, oh, a snail, I don't like that, get rid of it, but it's a very important part of that habitat. And so we're just hoping to get the next generation of environmental stewards, get, get kids excited about biomes and the environment and different habitats and thinking that way, and also getting their parents to think that way as well so that we can continue to move forward and protect where we live.